Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. Climate change. We talk about it uh, quite a bit on this show because we're very passionate about it. But I, I like the focus that we're doing today because one of the questions is, you know, should be should we be scared when you know of climate action and the climate crisis and so forth? And uh, my next guest is going to tell you we shouldn't because the, there are ways we can all make a difference here in our lives, not only individually but you know, in, in our own municipalities, in our own neighborhoods. I'm joined by uh, Jorge Moreno, the Retrofit Projects Manager over there at the Enviro, Enviro Center. Welcome, Jorge. Great hey, to have well, you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so Enviro Center, over the last 20 years in the capital region, has a nonprofit group working to reduce emissions in the area. And so our main focus is really looking at scoping, delivering, scalable solutions for reducing our emissions in our city and our vision for the city is a beautiful one for the future of Ottawa. It's sustainable and uh, zero emissions. Uh, you and I talked about this in the green room and I think you know there's always this argument in Canada that we're responsible for less than two percent of all greenhouse gases so why are we putting so much effort into it? Is this important for Canada? Absolutely. Uh, Canada is one of the top 10 emitters, even though it's, you know, per capita up there with a third of uh, emitters. But uh, for Canada, we're kind of leading the way. You know, we have a responsibility and opportunity to develop policies that can have a significant impact uh, domestically and globally. And other countries are going to look to Canada to say, how successful was our, our programs, how can they replicate it and get inspired. And you know, Canada has the resources, we have the financial capabilities, and we have a, a well-educated population to do the work. So Canada can, Canada can really lead the way. Yeah, are you encouraged of what you've seen? from you know on a national on a national stage yeah we're doing lots of great work so in the retrofit space you know there's been lots of funding to promote uh, greener homes and have better efficiency you can uh, participate in lots of different programs to receive rebates there's also zero percent loan financing to get those products done so we're really doing a lot of work to transition to cleaner energies and cleaner technologies. What about here municipally? Um, again, we, we have a new mayor. We, we have you know a lot of new faces mm -hmm. around the council table. I know that you work um, in unison, oftentimes with the city. What have you had a chance to sort of meet some of these new councillors, and, and and what are you hearing from them? Yeah, so there's a climate action plan for the city of yeah. Ottawa, and one of the things that we're doing is the Better Home Loans program, which is a low interest loan for taking on climate adaptations for your home and getting your benefit, uh, retrofit projects and upgrade measures going. And so the city, you know, like all the cities across the country, we're experiencing the effects of climate change, you know? And so right. we're contributing to that with our waste emissions in tr uh, buildings and transportation. And so Ottawa's really working hard to build a future that's resilient and sustainable through different programs like our Better Homes uh, loan program. I, I touched on this in, in the introduction and that was the question of, you know, should I be scared of the climate <laughs> crisis? And, and, I, and I liked your answer because we talked about this in, yeah. in the green room before the yeah, show. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, climate change should be taken seriously and, and it's happening, it's happening rapidly. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done but being afraid of that is not gonna get the work done. So the good thing is we know what we can do and it's the same things that we've been encouraging businesses, our communities and organizations to do for over the last 20 years. So that's you know, net zero your home, uh, zero carbon your transportation, and a push for, a push for change. Uh, climate targets. Uh, many people think they're unrealistic, whether it's on a national, provincial, or municipal level. Do, do you think we have realistic targets, and, and can we reach them? Well, to put it into perspective, when we're talking about the transportation emissions in the city, we're trying to get to zero emissions by or zero carbon by 2050. So, what that really looks like for the city? Uh, that means maybe your next vehicle is going to be electrified, it's going to be EV. Uh, that means the future trans public transportation in Ottawa is going to be electrified, it's going to be functional and reliable and energy efficient. And then taking a look at the things that we do on our own. So maybe our daily commutes can be in that EV. Maybe we can look at 
taking some active transportation, walking, riding, rolling. Today was a beautiful day. I rode my bike down here nice, today. <laughs> nice, I like it. Um, I, I saw that you at the Enviro Center had a media release about a, a, a bike share project. Can you can you expand on that? Are you aware of, of what's yeah, happening? Yeah, so we're there? doing lots of different uh, types of projects around the city, and one of those is just encouraging our communities to be aware of uh, different ways to how you can be involved in active transportation. You know, walking to school. Uh, doing that last mile on uh, alternative mode of transportation that would get you to a, a net zero or zero carbon type of transportation. Um, you know, these um, companies that bring in the, you know, the bikes that, you know, you can you can use temporarily, mm -hmm. you know, we saw scooters. I mean, um, some people like the scooter idea, some people don't, but I, I think I think they've done a pretty good job of trying to fix some of those things. Are you yeah, encouraged by yeah, that? Yeah, I am. There's That's one of the biggest uh, challenges right now is like, what's that last mile to get people to they're that next place and destination. Right. And uh, EnviroCenter actually has a call for proposal out right now for bike share. So if you are interested and have some proposals, reach out to us. We'd like to hear from you about what your proposal of bringing a bike share to the city of Ottawa. Tomorrow is Earth Day. Yeah. Have you guys got any plans on, on how you might uh, celebrate Earth Day? Well, as an environmental nonprofit, EnviroCenter has Earth Day every day. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But yeah, we're going to be out in the community this week. So uh, you had, a, a, I guess, earlier this week, Trevor from Remax is going to be over at the backyard. Oh, uh, the yeah, cottage, the Ottawa backyard and cottage, cottage show. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to be there. You can learn about the Future Homes Project, the Better Homes Loan, learn about getting an energy uh, assessment to get your retrofit journey started and we're also going to be out in Carleton Place for EarthFest. Excellent, excellent. Uh, where's the best place to find out more information because you, you, you shared quite a bit of info on, on how people can you know make it make a difference in their own lives. Yeah so if you're looking for making an impact for a net zero in your home, uh, if you want to net zero your transportation and push for systemic change, take a look at envirocenter.ca and Excellent. also our betterhomesottawa.ca website. Terrific. Jorge, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks really appreciate me. it. And, and happy Earth Day yeah, to you. Happy, happy Earth, Earth Day. Day. We'll be back with more right after this. Don't go anywhere.